When we have a quadratic linear system, we have both a line and a parabola. We can solve quadratic linear systems graphically by graphing the parabola, graphing the line, and looking for the intersection. We know that we can have three possible outcomes. The first is that the line and parabola intersect in two different points, meaning we have two solutions. Or, the line and the parabola can meet at one point, and we have one solution. Finally, we could have two graphs and they don't intersect at all, meaning that there is no solution to the system of equations. Solving a quadratic linear system algebraically is actually quite simple. Get y alone in each equation, and then set the other sides equal to each other. Notice in this example we have y equals x squared plus 2x minus 1. We put the x squared plus 2x minus 1 on one side of our equal sign. Then we have y equals x plus 1. We put the x plus 1 on the other side of the equal sign. Then we solve the resulting equation. We can combine terms on the left hand side and set it equal to 0. Then we solve the equation using either factoring or the quadratic formula and we get that x equals 2 and x equals 1. Now we have the x coordinates of the solutions. Next, let's find the y coordinates. We simply pick one of the equations, I usually pick the one that's the easiest, and I plug the x values in. When I plug negative 2 in, I get y equals negative 1. When I plug 1 in, I get y equals 2. We now have the other value for our ordered pair, and so the solution to the system of equations is negative 2, negative 1, and 1, 2. Remember, what this really means is if you were to take both of those equations and graph them, they would intersect at the points negative 2, negative 1, and 1, 2. In our next example, we have y equals x squared plus 1, and 2x minus y equals negative 4. We have to begin by making sure both equations are in the form y equals. Our second equation becomes y equals 2x plus 4. Now we can set the two equations equal to each other and solve. I'd like for you to take a few moments to solve the system right now. Please pause the video here and come back once you're finished. Let's see how you did. We combine the equations so we have x squared plus 1 equals 2x plus 4. Then we solve the system and we get x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. Next, we know we have to find the y coordinate that goes with those, and we plug it into the equation y equals 2x plus 4. We get y equals 10 and y equals 2. That means our solutions are the point 3, 10 and negative 1, 2. Remember, if we were to graph those two equations, they would intersect at those two points. In our final example, I'd like to show you what happens when we have no solution. We begin by making sure both equations are in the form y equals, and then we write our equation. We get everything to one side, and we try to factor, but we realize it doesn't factor. We try the quadratic formula, and we notice that the b squared minus 4ac, the number under the square root, is negative 7. Whenever we have a negative number under the square root, there's no solution and so the system of equations has no solution. If we were to look at the graph, you see here that the parabola and the line never intersect. That makes a lot of sense because if there's no solution, they don't intersect at any points. So here's what you need to know. To solve a system of equations algebraically, get y alone for each equation, and then set the other sides equal to each other. Equation 1 equals equation 2. Then solve that will give you your x value, and then you can plug that in to find the corresponding y value. That's everything you need to know about solving quadratic linear systems algebraically.